Excellent. We will get Linkser on the Widow. Linkser's just too good of a Widowmaker to just leave unattended for a while. I am Jiri Linkser Masamin. I play for Houston Oslo's and my main role is DPS. With Widowmaker, a lot of your aim comes from the crosshair placement. You always try to have your crosshair placed approximately around the head level. I like to think that I have a little zone. My most comfortable flick area, basically. Every hero has a different head box and they have a lot of different animations. So a lot of practice and grinding helps to, you know, get adjusted to them. The two times I go for a headshots is when I'm completely free and I just have the sideline of the full enemy team. I try to go for headshots only because I have more time to aim. And the second time I go for headshots is when I'm absolutely sure if I don't hit the shot I will die. And other than that I think just having consistent damage output in a game like Overwatch is important. Like when you're focusing a target and you do 120 damage you know like constantly, it's useful still. Putting too much pressure on the headshots will just make you have more inconsistent games. When I set up my own settings for Videomaker, I go sensitivity 5. My crosshair usually is 194, but the color changes depending how I feel. But I've noticed that the best colors are white, green, teal, red, yellow. Let's play with yellow today. Relative aim sensitivity, 38. This has been the one that I've used most consistently overall. Crafting hook to 70, because sometimes I felt like the crafting hood ended up going way off the point I wanted to. My venom mine is always E and mouse 4, so it's the, the under button of the mouse. Ult is Q, or sometimes instead of pressing Q, I just use mouse wheel down. It's important to have a hello put on something, and I use hello on tree. You kill someone, and then you hello them. You try to get them into their head a bit. Before a match, I might use training bots and then video maker custom lobbies, headshot only, and sometimes even just ranked. For getting maximum value out of Infrasite, there's a couple of scenarios where you can get most. One is to use the status quo method or a mirroring method where you just mirror the enemy's wall hacks when you're playing defense. When you're attacking, I try to get into a position where I'm already ready to flank or ready to take a shot and then I activate it and before basically they have time to react, um, I should already have gotten, you know, a kill with it. You don't want to give them any time to react when you wall hack that they can, you know, recruit, play around defensively or anything like that. I had a lot of fun trying to teach you guys about Widowmaker, and I'm still learning too, but we can learn together. That's what we're talking about, Linkser predicts that one beautifully. He's gone, Linkser, once again.